Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today's meditation is taken from 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 4 through 8. This passage is about the living stone and a chosen people. The Apostle Peter was writing to Christians who were suffering persecution. Here, Peter describes Jesus as the living stone. We know that in biblical times, a cornerstone was used as the foundation on which a building was constructed. The rest of the building would conform to this cornerstone. If the cornerstone was removed, the entire structure would collapse. Peter calls Jesus a stone because of the prophecies in the Old Testament. This shows us Jesus' invincible strength, teaching us that He is the foundation on which we are built, a solid foundation on hope and faith. God lays this stone, Jesus Christ. Men rejected it by crucifying Him. But God has chosen this stone and regards him as precious in the eyes of the Father and valuable to him. Peter says that we are also living stones who are being built into a spiritual house. The Apostle Paul says this in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 19 through 22. Therefore we as individuals and as a church build our lives upon this foundation as we hear and obey the teachings of Jesus Christ. In verses 6 through 8, Peter quotes three different verses. In verse 6, Peter affirms what he had stated as Christ being a living stone. This is quoted in Isaiah chapter 28 verse 16. Verse 7 is taken from Psalms 118 verse 22 and verse 8 is from Isaiah chapter 8 verse 14. We draw near to God with our spiritual sacrifices by giving praise and honor and doing everything to the glory of God. If we do not come to Jesus, the living stone, then we do not have life and we are not built into a spiritual house. We will not be put to shame when we build our lives on Jesus. Those who do not believe in Jesus, who are disobedient, and who do not follow His word, they will surely stumble and fall. Especially during this pandemic, we need to submit ourselves and stand for Jesus. Everything we have is not because of our abilities, but by God's grace and mercy. We need to humble ourselves as individuals, as a family, and as a church. Just like in the hymn, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. Let's pray. Lord, my Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day, another fresh breath of life to live our lives for you. Help us, Lord, to have a proper foundation, you, Jesus, as the cornerstone of our lives. Help us to remember that no matter how we build our lives, unless we accept you and align ourselves with you, we are nothing. As we are seeing an increase in COVID cases and longing for some normalcy during this pandemic, we are feeling anxious and our hearts are heavy. Help us to be more humble, to feel your presence, your power, and your manifestation, and draw closer to you in our faith, especially during this holy season. In Jesus' precious name, amen.